mission is to go out and tell everyone about the wonders of Shinra. Next, you'll be visiting the repository for Shinra's expertise and know-how. Please make your way to the 62nd floor, the corporate archive. What the? Greetings and welcome. Avalanche, I presume. My name is Hart, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Hmm? I've come to escort you to Mayor Domino, per his request. The Mayor of Midgar? The empty soup that's just a mouthpiece for Shinra? Yes. The Mayor of our dear Midgar. The most magnificent city ever built. That Mayor Domino. The Visual Entertainment Hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late, and he suspected that these difficulties might impede your progress. So what does the Mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. Guess we're supposed to follow. Look at this place. So what? You telling me the mayor's some kind of crazy bookworm? Through here. If this is a trap, you're a dead man, you hear? This can't be right. Ah, wonderful. You finally made it. <gasps> I am the mayor of the great metropolis of Mako. Domino, at your service. <laughs> I must say you three haven't exactly been discreet. I wonder who's been cleaning up all your messes. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times, walked in front of every other camera, and scared an accountant half to death. Do you hear the alarm? No? You're welcome. <sighs> hmm. hmm. I can only assume your cell wasn't looped in. I am Avalanche's man on the inside. Say what? Huh. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world, tucked away in a secret broom closet in the damned archives. The nerve. Those stupid Shinra pricks thought I'd just shut up and accept their treatment. But they were wrong. Dead wrong. Huh. <laughs> Well, this ought to make things easier. We need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra his comeuppance? We're here to save a friend who was taken. But the President's gonna get his, too, if I have anything to say about it. Mm. 
Well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing. So long as it hurts Shinra. Great. So, I can get you as far as the 64th floor. Hold up. You telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian, nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Sorting records and reports, that's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows my pain, my daily torment. They've made me a pathetic shell of a man. Uh, uh, okay, they did you wrong like us, but we'll make it right. So just calm down. Deep breaths, man. Deep breaths. Hmm. Let me see that key card of yours. <sighs> Here you are. You can now use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow Avalanche collaborator. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. The countersign is... The mayor is the best! Midgar's mayor is nothing less! Uh... Everyone says he's cooler than the rest! Uh... Uh... Just say mayor to the guy, and if he goes the best with gusto, then you've found your man. You got it? If you think you've found the collaborator, say, Mayor, and see if he says, The best! You got it now? I've done everything I can for you. Now don't make me regret doing it. So, about this precious promised land of yours. Come now, Aerith. You misunderstand my intentions. I wish only to satisfy their material greed, so I can be left to pursue my great work. Our great work, my dear. Hmm. You're the spitting image of her now. I regret it to this day. If she had only trusted me instead of trying to run, it could have played out quite differently. What a terrible tragedy, to lose the last of the pure-blooded ancients. Though not completely, would you like to see your mother? Albeit through the lens of one of my microscopes. Did you really think we'd leave such a precious specimen to rot in the gutter? We collected and cataloged every last bit of her. Hair, skin, organs, every fragment of every bone. As breathtaking in death as in life. As you, my dear, Ifalna was elegance, right down to her cellular structure. <laughs> and there it is, that same elegance. Oh, yes. Time for yet another meeting. Sit tight. I won't be long. 